be a snow plow. Yes, that was the accident that we witnessed. And you're taking a look here at some of the video right now. We actually got to the scene as uh, the police were on scene as well as the, the snow plow. Talked to the driver. He is okay. This is what he had to say. Well, I'm scared half to death. Freak out. Check, boom. Er, we hit him right in the feeling. I think we left more butts hurt than a paddle factory. What happened was I was just out plowing some snow and I got a little bored, so decided to put the rig to the test and have a little fun. <laughs> I got hundreds of angry comments. People really went insane over it. People were really pissed off about it. Said they deserved my truck above me. Not exactly the direction I had planned for the channel, but every time I try to do something nice, this is how it turns out. Yeah. Seems like a lot of these guys are more sensitive than the pinpoint steering and this road hugger right here. Thought these were some badass plow boys. Yeah, they're asking me if I broke any parts. I told them no. I could tell by the seat of my pants any slight variation in performance and handling. And even my neighbor Gary was awfully upset about it. He must be getting to the age where this really grinded his gears because I was just out on the road up and down for a little ride the other day and he came up to me and really tore a strip right off me. What are you gonna do? Huh? Put it on tape? If there wasn't any witnesses, you know what I'd do to you? I pull Trump on What's you. It? I'm your Huckleberry, buddy. I'm your Huckleberry. You short little fucking punk. Look I'll at be the watching law. you. You're lucky today, Look at buddy. The law. You're afraid, aren't you? You're a pussy. That's why. You think you're a tough guy, right? And you don't want to fuck with a guy like me that lives in this fucking town. Puts up with your all the time, right? Puts up with your all the time, like you own this, right? Like you own the road. See this? This means you're a dead man walking. You come onto my land okay you're a dead man harry crevice he said your screenshot made it look like there was an engine fire i'm disappointed <laughs> well guess what harry me and this rig we're both flamer retarded the hell are you doing i'm just looking for damage on the hemi plow truck phil mccracken he said that's a good way to bend an A-frame. Great job, you're a true professional. Well, thank you, Phil. I think we bent the mainframe with that video. You know, it's kind of funny when the old guys like that, they get mad at a young guy like me for having fun and creating a little excitement. Hell yeah! Woo! <laughs> Almost invalidates the greatest moments of their life. You know, all the stories they tell when they're out at the hunting club or to take their grandson fishing. And Telling stories about doing donuts in the 85 Camaro or whatever the hell they did. 68 GTO. But then they see a young guy like me and they think, wow, the rules have changed since I was young. So that gives me the right to give him a hard time. It's kind of funny how you could watch a five minute video and assume you know everything about a person's entire life. Almost makes you seem like the millennial. Suck my balls. God damn it. Why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. Now, Jimmy said, if a guy did that in my truck, he wouldn't be allowed to use a wheelbarrow. Well, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I'm only licensed for trucks. I swear to God, boomers hated this worse than self-checkouts and avocado toast. The people got angry. They said, you don't have 600 horsepower. That's not pushing 600 angry beavers to those beefy rubber wheels right back there. 400 Hemi horsepower is equivalent to 800 Chevy horsepower. 400 Hemi horsepower is equivalent to 600 diesel horsepower. Do the math. I mean, one time I was driving along and you could ask a guy who was with me, I was told him, whoa, my left right front brake pad just slid one millimeter to the left and the retaining clip went ping. 
hard gag said, wow, there could have been parking blocks or barriers there. Well, it's funny that you would instantly assume you're so much smarter than someone else that somebody would be so stupid to slam into a parking block or a barrier. Ah, Thank you, though. Your comment was great. Yeah, I think they had their feelings hurt, but... I mean, you figure a grown man would be used to that by now. I think that's the point of being a man, is you get used to disappointment. I told everybody, I told them, don't try this at home. A few guys said that they might try some stunts themselves. So I might have got to some of them, they might have got carried away. Because the next day, somebody posted this. Honestly, guys, that's some pretty light-duty stuff for a truck like this. See this lower bumper shroud here has been held on with the same zip ties since 2016. A little snow bank ain't nothing for them. Well, stay tuned till next week. I got some big plans for the ice race car. and might involve some extreme studded tires and a nitrous kit. But feel free to like the video or dislike it if you're a boomer. Maybe share it with your friends and say, look at this guy, I hate this idiot. But yeah, leave us a comment, subscribe for more. Till next week, cheers.